hope you can hear me. Uh, first of all, I'm so sorry I've been away. I've not uploaded anything for a mm, couple of months. I'm ever so sorry, but I've been so, so busy. And, um, and also I got unwell, I became unwell. I had lost my voice and I didn't realize it was very serious. Uh, I had to have a um, therapy for my voice. I had to see the speech and language therapy because I had completely lost my voice. Uh, in fact, I, I shouldn't be shouting. I've been told not to shout because that was one of the contributing factor. So hopefully I won't be shouting. Uh, the reason I'm talking very far is because I'm cooking chapati. Yeah, I do cook. Uh, I'm not a very good cook. <laughs> Uh, people have to eat so i thought it's friday let me make my family some chapatis and i will show you my chapatis i don't care if you judge me as long as people eat i don't care about the shapes chapatis as long as they get to the stomach that's all that matters so my chapatis the shapes are you know all kinds of shapes it's good variety uh, anyway guys um i've got this mehe mehe I saw yesterday and this, this bishop, bishop faking his own death and he took his own daughter to a high school which was giving scholarship to orphans children, him and his wife, I'll, I'll pin down the story, I don't want you people saying I, only, I bring stories that have for no roots or sources, anyway this bishop he faked his own death and he pretended that he's dead, that the child he was taking to school was an orphan. And him and the wife, they took the girl to school. And they, they, they succeeded. The school didn't realize that, you know, these are the real parents. And um, since he's seen, oh, this has worked out. I think after two years, he had another child that was starting high school. And this school is a specifically sponsors orphans' children. My goodness. Anyway, let me tell you the story. Because I'll put it down there for you to watch. So, um, when he went to take the second child, guess what? The school already had a tip off. And what what do you think they did? They set a trap. They had cameras. Hmm, Aki Bishop, Ashonokete. Hey, my goodness. They set the cameras. So the bishop went. The head teacher welcomed him. And I think the principal. And he told it he knew it was a trick. And he was busted. The whole world now can see him. Can you imagine the trauma those children are going to go through? Did even, not even that. Even if they were not to be exposed by the school. Telling your child that to pretend the child is an orphan. Doesn't he think he can actually die and that child become an orphan for real? People, my own Kenyan, my African people. Please, what have I been telling you about all these fake, fake, fake bishops? To become a bishop with a, the, these traditional churches, they have to go through theology, a lot of interviews for over 10 years. Over 10 years. This fake bishop you keep worshipping, how many times have they even gone to theology? All they want is your money. Stop opening your eyes, people. Go to proper churches. Stop going to all these fake, fake, fake. So I said, so I said, so what if you don't have money to sow? I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep talking about this so I said because I was there. I was manipulated by big, big churches here in the UK. Yes, I was. Big, big churches, name it. A lot of them, and I remember even one time the, the minister said, I was believing God for a Jaguar. I didn't even know what is a Jaguar. That time I had actually gone with a fake bus pass to, to the church because I didn't have even money to pay a bus pass and I was writing a check I was writing a check hoping it would not bounce I was, with, I was there so I know what I'm talking about please people go to proper churches traditional churches, Anglican churches Catholic, go to proper churches not this small, 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 fake, fake right now I'm in a smaller church but there's no this so I seed, so I seed Yes, I do not. I was there for many years. In Kenya, I wasn't manipulated. It was here in the UK. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. Because I went to Baptist church and my Baptist church, 
is one church that oh god my my chapatis are burning my baptist church is one church that i love in fact every time i go to kenya I, if there's something that excites me a lot is to know that i will go to church my church on sunday sorry baptist church i love that church that's the church that grounded me in the right way in the right way i was never manipulated there but nowadays especially western world that's where like okay right now in kenya there's so many small 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 because this bishop was in your country kenya oh well my country as well <laughs> our country so people let's start and educating other people this is why i am gonna use my platform and i'll keep calling out i'm gonna pin down that story and this is not the only story there's another story of my own friend she was about to be conned by a bishop but the bishop asked uh, when my friend realized that the, she was being conned by the bishop she she told the bishop and the, and the bishop refunded all the money my friend is here in the uk so is these things are happening every single day if you're in diaspora you want to sponsor a, to sponsor a child ask one of your family member to visit the family you know i do sponsor kids but i never go through this big, big i don't even give through this big organization no 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 my money goes straight to the school i get the receipt and i can see the name of the child and i know the child i'm sorry i'm not gonna i'm not gonna throw my seeds anywhere think about you know the story of the seeds when you throw the seeds in a fertile run you throw your seeds on stones a lot of you have been throwing your seeds on stones and you are there believing god for a miracle i'm sorry these people are, are are conning you they are lying to you anyway my people gosh look at the smoke let me show you my <laughs> please do you can judge me actually <laughs> those are my chapatis look at the pan the smoke those are the chapatis i've done for my family <laughs> So anyone that is me that's my chapatis uh i'm gonna stop there because i need to continue cooking otherwise i'm gonna set the house on fire but i'm so happy to be back and i'm gonna try to at least upload something every single week otherwise people thank you so much for subscribing i'm over 900 subscribers i just love you my people and i'm coming to kenya in this year and hopefully i'll be able to meet some of you god bless you and till next time